Let's uh, continue to talk about how difficult it is uh, to just get through the month at the moment, whether it's the increased cost of living, but of course we all use transport. Uh, more often than not, it's a private transport, cars, whatever it might be, to get to work. The problem is it's getting more and more expensive to keep our cars on the road. Let's not even talk about uh, what it costs to fill up our car at the moment. Yes, there's some good news, of course. The fuel price is going to come down a little bit. Uh, in the uh, next update coming out in August, but it's still going to be very expensive to fill up your car. Now we need to talk about what it's going to cost to keep your tires on the road. Keep the rubber side down is about to become a lot more expensive. Let's try and find out why, as I'm joined by Shol de Villiers from the Tire Importers Association of South Africa. Shol, good morning. Good to have you on ENCA. Appreciate your time. This seems like another big pothole in the road that we're all going to drive into at some point. 41%. I'm seeing a, a duty application uh, could see an increase of 41%. Uh, tell me how we got here and why such a big jump. Good morning, Gareth, and thanks for having me on your show. The local tire manufacturers have um, applied to ITAC for additional duties to be levied on imports from China specifically, claiming that they are um, being disadvantaged by the product being dumped in South Africa. We obviously believe that that is not the case um, and we are opposing the matter. They've applied um, across eight different tariff codes, ranging from 8% to a 69% uh, additional duties to be uh, imposed. And, and the effect that it'll have is, um, as you mentioned earlier, on uh, a 41% increase in t the cost of tires for taxi industry. And that's just for the taxi industry as well. We can only imagine how many tires taxis ordinarily go through as well. Uh, is, there, is it possible for you to give me an idea what the impact could be, for example, for the freight industry? Most private vehicles, Charles, I'm sure you'll agree, will change tires uh, relatively often every couple of years, depending how you drive. But the freight industry, I imagine, could take a massive knock as well. How bad could that be? Yes, the freight industry uh, in itself there we're looking at an increase between 17 to 18 percent and according to the rfa uh, that would translate into a six to a six and a half percent increase in operating cost now unfortunately uh, due to the um, economic climate we're in the transporters are not in a position to actually absorb these costs and it will have to be passed on and as you know everything uh, is transport by road roughly between 80 and 88 percent according to the rfa is transport by road uh, due to to our uh, rail infrastructure not uh, functioning properly. So it'll, it'll go straight through to the consumer, unfortunately. Uh, let's talk about maybe why and how we, we got here. My understanding, uh, and I don't have much knowledge of the industry, is uh, the big tyre producers that are applying for these duties to come in. Uh, part of the argument, and this is where I need you to guide me as well, Shal, is that they're currently losing out to cheap imports from China. Is that essentially how we got to this point? Well, Gareth, that's their claim, yes. Um, we don't believe that's the reason. Um, China uh, is, is uh, obviously an affordable market due to the scale of the economy uh, and the number of tires being produced in that country. Um, but definitely, we don't feel that the products are being dumped in South Africa. They're using, in our opinion, the wrong uh, tool to look for remedies. Um, and, uh, you know, we feel that all jobs matter at the end of the day. Um, and our members itself uh, employ more than 3,000 people uh, in the industry. And if we look at the value chain that rely on, on imports, um, we also have uh, a lot of members relying on us there. So who is the final arbiter in all of this? Who is the person or the organization or the, the body that in the end is going to hear both sides of this argument and make a decision? Who uh, makes that final call? ITAC is uh, looking at that. Um, they're busy with the investigation. Every uh, manufacturer had the opportunity um, to do a submission, plus importers. So they are now in the process of evaluating that, and then they will make a determination uh, once done. So it's now in the hands of ITAC, um, and we await their final uh, result. 
Uh, and so when we now take a look at uh, the local markets, when we talk about, for example, the National Taxi Alliance, I'm fairly certain when we talk about numbers of 41% uh, uh, that we could see an increase for taxi tires. For example, if we kick the tin a little bit further down the road, Shoal, if this were to go ahead, uh, it's one thing to get more duties in place, but I would imagine we're going to have taxi unions uh, and taxi associations very, very upset. And that has to be taken into consideration, considering that most people use public transport, don't they? That's correct. If you look at the uh, low-income household, they're already spending up to 55% of their income on public transport. So if this increase goes through, that percentage will just go up. So the, com the consumer out there is just not in a position to absorb these type of increases anymore. I see as well Gavin Kelly, CEO of the RFA, the Road Freight Association, uh, coming out in a quote, and I just want to uh, read what it says here. Uh, based on the projected 17% increase on the landed cost of truck tyres, we estimate this will translate into a 6% increase to operators, which Charles, I'm sure you'll explain to me, then is going to translate to an increase uh, on us, the consumers, and we already are struggling to get through the month, aren't we? That's correct. You know, as I said earlier on, that 80% to 88% of all goods, uh, food, medicine, are being transported by road. And, and that'll uh, increase if we have to pass these increases on to the transport industry. Um, and unfortunately, the only uh, person that'll end up paying the bill is the consumer. All right, Shaul, thank you very much indeed for uh, joining us this morning. It's going to be a complicated issue as well. Uh, and uh, I'm sure when we talk about this, uh, the further it goes down the road is uh, tyre safety as well. If tyres become too expensive, people might start cutting back on uh, replacing their tyres when they become...